three, two, one. Hands up. Contestants, please bring your dishes to the judging table. A recent survey of students on the University of Maryland College Park campus found that roughly 20% of undergraduates have low food security. This means that students face issues of food availability, accessibility, and utilization over time. If students are struggling to find food, how are they supposed to focus on learning and growing? Our web series, Terps vs. Pros Food Challenge, aims to provide students the tools to prepare quick and affordable meals to fuel the mind and body. Hello, I'm Patrick Keenan, and today we're going to have a cook-off between a UMD student and a professional chef. But first, let's ask some students what their go-to meal is when they're in a hurry. And then, we'll find a student competitor who is brave enough to compete against our professional chef in a cook-off. What's your go-to meal? Uh, to be honest, probably just like peanut butter sandwich. Probably um, pasta, maybe some mac and cheese, rice and beans, um, a lot of carbs. Standard peanut butter and jelly sometimes. Like I don't have uh, enough time, I go to McDonald's. Since I'm always on the go, I'm always uh, cooking up a quick oatmeal. I really like tacos a lot. <laughs> What's your idea of a healthy meal? Healthy meal, have vegetables. Probably a lot of veggies. Mainly vegetables, I'd say healthy. Some veggies. <laughs> what kind of a healthy meal do you think you'd be able to make today? Uh, that's a good question. I haven't had breakfast yet, so that's a start. Well, uh, I actually don't cook. <laughs> I have chocolate cake in my fridge. <laughs> Alright, so where do you buy food? Usually Target Express. Um, I'll go to Safeway if I have time. Shoppers. Um, so I can walk to Whole Foods, which is a bit of a trek. What do you think about cooking an entire meal in a microwave? Uh, well, hmm. The only thing I, I consistently make in the microwave is like instant ramen. Obviously ramen. Microwavable foods. And scrambled egg. That wasn't that good. So, do you think you have what it takes to go head to head with a professional chef? Well, I'd like to try. <laughs> what would you be making? I can bake a cake. That'd be a cool endeavor. So, do you think you'd be able to do a competition right now? Like, right, right now? Right now. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean... <laughs> no, no, I don't think... I, I mean, <laughs> I like, I can't even do sandwiches. Um, yeah, sure. I'm not doing anything right now. All right, well, we'll have our crew help you get set up in our kitchen. And in the meantime, let's talk about where we can find some healthy food on our campus. On-campus convenience stores carry a variety of fresh and non-perishable food. And if you pay with dining dollars, you get a discount. You can even visit the farmer's market and support local farmers while eating well at the same time. Now, let's head over to our kitchen and get the competition started. Here we are in the kitchen labs in Marymount Hall. For today's challenge, our competitors will make their own three-course meal using the appliances and utensils that an average student would have in the kitchen of an on- or off-campus apartment. Let's meet our competitors. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a senior at the university studying dietetics. Hi, my name is David Gonzalez. I'm executive sous chef here at University of Maryland. All right, so in 30 minutes, you both have to create a healthy meal using the ingredients you selected. You'll also have access to a set of Wistoff knives, along with a basket of simple plates, bowls, and utensils. You ready? Your time begins now. Now, while they work, let's take a look at the appliances our competitors will be using to prepare their dishes. Once you get your produce or other perishables, you need to keep them fresh, right? If you have your own mini fridge, make sure it's nice and cold, 40 degrees Fahrenheit or less. It's incredibly important to wash produce thoroughly under cold running water. We want to make sure that any soil, bacteria, or residues are cleaned off of our food before we start cutting or peeling. So Emma, what are you washing and how does it fit into your dish today? So I'm washing some carrots and celery for my main course, a creamy ramen bowl and I'm going to pair that with an appetizer of coconut curry popcorn and a dessert of a carrot mug cake. That sounds great. I'm going to let you get back to cooking. Right. If you're cooking in a hurry, the microwave can be a lifesaver. This speedy oven often gets a lot of flack for not being able to produce the best textures and foods. But there are so many things you can make in a microwave if you just use a bit of creativity. So chef, what are you cooking today? My microwave is sweet potato as my main course. Southwestern loaded sweet potato. And to start that off, I'm gonna make um, avocado mini tarts, 
And to finish off for sweet, we're gonna make lemon curd, raspberry parfait. Sounds delicious. I'll check up on you later. Once 30 minutes have passed, our competitors' dishes will be judged by our expert dietitian and chef. I am Dr. Margaret Udahogora, the head of the dietetics program in the Department of Nutrition and Food Science in College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. I am interested to see how our challengers will produce healthy meals in a way that is creative, practical, and tasty. Joining Dr. Yu is Dining Services Executive Chef Rob Fahey. I'm Chef Rob Fahey, Executive Chef of Dining Services. I've been on the UMD campus for over seven years. I've been cooking for over 30 years. Today I'm judging the meals on their taste, texture, and looking for innovative techniques using a limited set of tools. So judges, we've come up with quite a challenge for our competitors, but really a lot of students have these similar time and cooking constraints every day. That's right, that plays bad into what we refer to low food security and that's becoming a growing concern among elite universities like ours. The recent two studies show that one out of five students actually have low food security. So we want to provide the student with easier way to have a healthy meal throughout the semester. Thanks, Dr. Yu, that's some great information. So, Chef Rob, cooking with a microwave is fast, but can you even make a good tasting meal out of it? Cooking in a microwave can be even challenging for a veteran like me but learning a few basic techniques can help you get through this process. All right. Well, our competitors' dishes will be judged on how nutritious and delicious they are. Let's go see how they're doing. So it looks like our student's toasting coconut in the microwave. Now she's using 15 second pulses and stirring in between each pulse. You gotta be careful with toasting coconut in the microwave because it's filled with oil, and if you leave it for too long, it's gonna burn. I see David's about to put his sweet potato in the microwave. Here's a good tip. If you poke the sweet potato, it allows the steam to leave the inside of the potato. Chef David's parfait looks delicious. And you can see the lemon curd that he's using was made ahead of time, so it had time to cool. Frozen fruit lasts longer than fresh fruit. And you can add them into a smoothie and it's a good way to start the day. Oh, I'm almost done cooking my carrot cake, although this is going to be cutting in a little close. So cooking with limited tools is quite difficult for me. I'm going to have to rely on my skills and years of experience to pull this one off. Three, two, one. Hands up. Contestants, please bring your dishes to the judging table. Now that the competitors are finished, let's see what the judges think. First, we have Emma's appetizer. It's a toasted coconut curry spiced popcorn. I didn't see any burnt popcorn at all, so she did a great job at the timing of the microwave. Emma's entree is a creamy ramen bowl. It has instant ramen with some carrots, celery, and onion. It's very nice and creamy. For Emma's dessert, she has a whole wheat carrot mug cake with a Greek yogurt glaze. Presentation's outstanding. When you're in a hurry with a cup of milk, this would be perfect. For his starter, Chef David made an avocado tart. That's really good. He had enough salt and pepper, so it's got enough flavor. For Chef David's main course, we have a Southwest loaded sweet potato. This looks like something you'd find at UMD Dining. Yeah, this is very good for anybody who is vegetarian. For dessert, Chef David made a lemon curd and raspberry Greek yogurt parfait. When you have a bite with the fruit, it makes it more excellent. Now that the judges have finished trying all the dishes, it's time for them to make a decision. So Margaret, what'd you think of the appetizers? The popcorn was great. Uh, it had less fat, it has fiber. That was good. I like more the tart, uh, the avocado tart. What do you think about the entree? Well, I was a little disappointed in the ramen noodle one. I thought it would be needing a little more vegetables. But the creaminess was good. But the Southwest sweet potato was colorful, it was flavorful. I did like those Southwest sweet potato too. It can be a good dish for someone who's vegetarian. So, the dessert. The whole wheat carrot was perfect, but a little bit hard to eat. Now, I thought the carrot cake's presentation was spectacular. I thought she did a really good job with that. But the yogurt parfait was the bomb. So, Margaret, I think we picked the winner. I think we have agreed, yeah. 
And the winner of this Terps versus Pros cook-off is Chef David. Yes. <laughs>